I'm originally from New York. Uh, I grew up uh, up on the Upper East Side, a little place we call Yorkville. It's kind of a Irish neighborhood. But I've been living out in Williamsburg in Brooklyn for the past like 15 years. So I opened up my first little spot there about 10 years ago and then Sweet Chick came uh, four years ago. I kind of just really kind of dug into the neighborhood there, man. And the idea was to open up a spot that people like myself that lived in the neighborhood could come to multiple times a week and hang out and have a good time. And you know, it's turned into a lot more since then. Originally, when I heard the story about how Chicken Waffles was uh, started up in Harlem, um, the jazz musicians late at night, like four o'clock in the morning, you know, when one of the guys went into the kitchen and said, I don't know if I want uh, breakfast or I want dinner. And uh, the chef up there was like, well, I got some fried chicken left over and I can make some waffles. And then Chicken Waffles was born. So when I found that out and I was like, man, this is like a New York dish. Uh, I was kind of like, man, we got to like do it justice and like open a spot really for that. Knowing that it was created by the jazz musicians in the 20s in Harlem, you know, it made total sense for us to kind of like collaborate with, with music. And it was really just the music that, you know, I kind of grew up listening to. And uh, we ended up being able to partner with musicians and guys come in and perform. And, you know, it's just uh, kind of created a vibe and a lifestyle around. It was our one year anniversary in Brooklyn and I just wanted to do something really special for the neighborhood. And I was like, man, I, I would love to have somebody, that would be crazy if somebody came and, and just, you know, grabbed the mic. For some reason I was like, man, I would love to have Raekwon come. And this is like two days before the party. So I started picking up the phone. I started making phone calls. I didn't know anybody in his camp or anything like that. And uh, finally, like the day of the party, I made it happen. So I met Ray on the side street. The party was, was live already. It was like probably like 10, 11 o'clock at night. And um, I had Ray come through the kitchen. I remember I grabbed the mic, you know, real quick. And I said, yo, the chef got a couple of words. And my chef didn't even know that Raekwon was in the kitchen. And uh, he started walking behind the bar to, to like, for me to give him the mic. And, you know, Ray busted out of the kitchen. Cream came on and the crowd went crazy. And the next day we woke up and we were just like, man, that was fucking cool, man, you know? You know, it was kind of just a dream to, uh, you know, to kind of create a restaurant like this. Um, and now, you know, with the, the help of Nas, obviously, I think we're going to expand outside of New York and do a few more of these restaurants, you know, and it's, it's a challenge, but it's a fun challenge, you know, it's something that we're up for. You know, the whole team is down with this. Sweet Chick is a movement. It's unlike other restaurants. Yeah.